prove that P1 is equal to A1 plus B1. That is the first question, 10.1. If you're wondering why I didn't include the question statement, it is because there is absolutely no keyword. But we can come up with a few. You should be able to realize that P, Q, C, B it's a cyclic quad on the smaller circle. And B, R, A, C it's a cyclic quad on the bigger circle. So let's go ahead and see how we can get to P1 being equals to A1 plus B1. But let's stick to the basics here. We have P1 as an exterior angle of triangle ARP. So we can say that P1 is equal to A1 plus R2 because P1 is an exterior angle of that triangle. It is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior. But we can also say that P1 is equal to angle C. Why are we saying that P1 is equal to angle C? An exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the opposite interior. So P1 is equal to angle C. So we need to prove that A1 plus B1 is equal to A1 plus R2. Basically prove that B1 is equal to R2. Or we need to prove that A1 plus B1 is equal to C. We need to prove one between these two. If we do that, then P1 is equal to A1 plus B1. So let's go ahead and look at the first option, proving that B1 is equal to R2. If B1 is equal to R2, then P1 is equal to A1 plus R2. So let's go ahead and look at that. We have B1 here, as I've indicated, and where is R2? We have R2 right here. Right, if you take some time and try figuring out if you can see that R2 is equal to B1, you're going to realize that it is a quite difficult exercise. I couldn't prove that. That is why I moved to option 2. A1 plus B1 is equal to angle C. Let's see how that comes about. So in triangle ARB, Take your attention to triangle ARB. You will realize that A1 plus B1 plus angle ARB is equal to 180 degrees. This is just the sum of angles on a triangle. Then angle ARB will be equal to 180 minus A1 minus B1. That is the size of angle ARB. B. It is 180 minus A1 minus B1. But this angle ARB, this entire angle ARB, if we add it to angle C, we must get 180 degrees. The opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. So angle ARB is equal to 180 degrees minus angle C. Clearly, if those two statements are true, then A1 plus B1 should be equal to angle C. So A1 plus B1, they equal to angle C. So we can conclude and say that P1 is equal to angle A1 plus angle B1. Why are we seeing that they both equal to angle C? That is 10.1. Quite a tricky question, but you know it is doable if you give yourself enough time. Let's move to 10.2. We're supposed to prove that AR squared is equal to AP multiplied by AB. Well, uh, usually when we have a question like this, we need to prove similarity. Well, we have side AR, AP, and a b let's see if we can find two triangles that have only those sides 
Right, let's just erase all this so we can have a bit of clarity. We have side AR right here. And we have AP. Wait, side AP. Side AP is right here. And then if we join R and P, we have a triangle. And then another side we have is AB. So it seems like we are also interested in this triangle angle we have said that we interested in triangle a r p and triangle a b r right so in those two triangles angle a1 is equals to angle a1 why are we saying that it is just a common angle it's shared by the two triangles in 10.1 this is how we started we say that P1 is equal to A1 plus R2. This was because A1, P1 it is an exterior angle of the triangle ARP, right? But then we ended up concluding that P1 is equal to A1 plus B1. We were actually asked to prove that and we were able to prove it at the end. If P1 is equal to A1 plus R2, and P1 is equal to A1 plus B1, then that tells us that R2 is equal to B1. We can clearly see that R2 is equal to B1. R2 is equal to B1, and angle A is common. Now we can say that angle P4 is equal to angle R2 plus R1. If those pairs of angles are equal to each other, then P4 should be equal to R2 plus R1 because of the sum of angles on a triangle. And just like that, we can conclude and say that triangle ARP is similar to triangle ABR, angle, angle, angle. AR divided by AB is equal to AP divided by AR. This is because triangle ARP is similar to triangle ABR. If we cross multiply, you're going to get AR squared being equal to AB multiplied by AP.